everyone, me again, welcome back to X Amelia X. For those of you who read my blog or follow me on social media will know that I have just finished my six month smiles clear adult braces treatment and I am over the moon with how perfect my teeth look now. But what you didn't know was that I was vlogging every little bit along the way. So this guys is my six month smile journey from the beginning to the end with updates in between and even some very unflattering <laughs> images of me sat on a dentist chair having them put on and having them removed. So if you're interested in six month smiles or just want to know what it's like to have adult braces then make sure you keep watching and of course there will be before and after pictures at the end. But if you want to find out more all the information is in a blog post down below with also loads more pictures of my teeth before and after and what they look like with the braces on. I honestly can't rave about six month smiles enough and I'm so so happy with my new smile so enjoy! Hey guys, so I'm just about to go in for my six month smiles consultation. Um, I'm a little bit nervous actually. It's been a long time since I've had braces or any kind of molds taken. I don't know if we're gonna be taking molds today or if it's just gonna be sort of a let's have a look at your teeth kind of thing. So I thought I'd probably show you my teeth before we start actually. Um, the only problem I really have is at the bottom, because uh, I did have braces before, um, my top teeth are pretty good. If I'm honest, I've got a little brace, a little wire behind my front too, um, to stop my Madonna gap from coming back. Um, but that's the only teeth that's kind of causing me problems. I think it's because my wisdom teeth have come in and it's just kind of pushed them all around. It doesn't seem a lot, but it really bugs me. And now I've pointed it out, you will be able to see it every single time I talk like I do. But yeah, I'm excited, but nervous at the same time. So let's give it a go. We're all done. That was really, really quick. Um, it was a really lovely experience. I was a bit worried about having my moulds taken uh, because I remember those being so horrible as a teenager when I had my um, tra train track braces on. But these were absolutely fine. They kind of use silicone now, so it doesn't like splurge out and make you feel like you're going to be sick. Um, it was really, it was fine. It was absolutely fine. Um, so I've had my impressions taken for the bottom and for the top. So I'm not having braces on the top because they are absolutely perfect. Um, um, but I am ha obviously having the fixed braces on the bottom but because we're going to be moving the bottom ones around a little bit they want to create a clear uh, retainer that goes over my top teeth just to make sure they don't move when the others are moving around probably only have to wear that for a couple of hours a day or even just at night time so that's not a big deal at all um, so now they have taken my impressions have taken a picture of me and uh, some very glamorous pictures of my teeth which I'm sure will end up on the blog which would be very nice for you all to see um, um, and that's it they are going to send them over to New York um, and then they're going to make my braces in New York and FedEx them back over how snazzy is that so um, it's probably gonna take about three weeks for that but the, the ladies were so so friendly I feel completely at ease they really explained everything as I was going along and I just can't believe how easy it is. And I'm actually really excited now to get started. Hey guys, so it's B day, braces day, um, and I'm really excited. I'm literally just about to go into the dentist and get my snaggle tooth fixed. So the next time you see me, I will have my braces on. on wish me luck. done already it's like taken just over an hour to get them all on can't believe how easy it was to do and I'm, I feel really weird because I'm trying to talk normally but I can tell that there's something there but they're really not bothering me at all like they're a lot smaller a lot less bulky than I remember braces being I had some red wine last night so I've got lip stains <laughs> Don't, they haven't like damaged me that's just red wine stain because you can't oh, you're not supposed to have red wine or curry or coffee in excess um, when you've got them on because obviously they're clear and you don't want to stain them so we did a, a fond farewell with a bottle of red wine last night so ignore my lips but actually they're all on and they feel fine so there we go Hey guys, so it's day one with my braces on. I had them fitted this morning um, and I feel absolutely fine. I'm a little bit worried because I was thinking that they were going to be quite painful and they actually don't feel painful at all. So I'm worried that tomorrow I'm going to wake up and my mouth is going to be on fire. Um, but I'm really loving them. I just tried to eat, which is why I wanted to do a little bit of a vlog for you. Um, it was a sad state of affairs, not because they're painful, but just because I can't actually bite together properly. Because I'm really worried about knocking the brackets off. 
so I had some soup and some crumpets um, and I had to really really cut and rip the crumpets up really small because I basically can't chew anything um, I'm waiting for my retainer to come uh, which I thought would actually make things better because that's gonna widen my bite a little bit and also make sure that my top ones don't move however I take that out when I eat so it's not really gonna help anything at all because well it's not going to be in what I'm trying to do. So that was going to be interesting. I'll keep you posted on that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so far, really, really happy. I'm just posted a picture on Instagram, at XMiliaX. Um, and loads of you have been really lovely and sending lots of messages and saying that they look cool. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm really really happy with them at the moment So I will try and keep filling you in as we go along if I get any problems or whatever um, But yeah, hopefully that we're gonna see some progress. Hey guys, so I'm off to the dentist today And one of my brackets has actually come loose. I'm not sure if you can see uh, It's the bottom one on my canine um, But I can move it off and back onto my tooth. So it's obviously just come unstuck. I woke up Try not to talk with your fingers in your mouth, Amelia. Um, I woke up and it was just like that, so I assume that I've just knocked it off in my sleep. It was actually positioned quite high up on my canine, uh, a lot higher than the other side. So I don't know if it's just because it was higher and I just knocked it off with with that one or what. I don't know. Um, it doesn't hurt. It just came off. That was it. Um, so phone up the dentist. They've been absolutely great. No problem at all. Got me booked in straight away. Um, so I'm just going to go and have it glued on. But apart from that, everything's fine. Um, hoping not to have any more pop off, obviously, because it's just a bit of a faff. But um, yeah, everything's fine. A bit of an achy mouth in the morning. Um, but I can chew normally now. I can eat everything that I would normally eat, apart from obviously like toffees and curries and things that will pull it out or stain it. Um, but yeah, absolutely fine. Had a burger at the weekend. Just chopped it up, ate it that way, had a steak. Life is good. As long as it doesn't get in the way of my food, I'm happy. <laughs> hey guys, so I am now three weeks into my treatment, I think, um, and I've broken some more brackets. <laughs> this one was completely my fault. The, to be fair, the first time was just because the bracket was too high and I couldn't close my mouth and my teeth knocked it off. But this time I was eating something I shouldn't have eaten. Um, to be fair, in my own defense, Oh, phone's going off. Um, in my own defense, it was purely because they don't hurt at all. They're not causing me any problems. They're not aching. I've been able to eat everything else absolutely fine. So um, I just kind of, I went out and I ordered a steak and just didn't think about it. And to be fair, steak is normally fine. Like we've had steak at home. I just must have caught it in an odd way. And I broke three brackets off. So I broke the very back one on that side and the one next to it. And then I also broke the back bracket on that one. So. Pretty, pretty bad breakages this time round, purely because, well, there was nothing still left holding my braces on. But anyway, so I phoned my lovely dentist and they were so nice and they booked me in today and I've had them fixed. So we're back on track. <laughs> I'll never get used to that shot of me going, mm -hmm. really attractive, Amelia. Um, but I've had them fixed and they're all fine. They said that my progress is coming along really, really well. And to be fair, I think it is. I'm like, I'm loving it. If you can see, if I stop talking, jabbering for a minute. My tooth is nearly in line and it's been like three weeks, look. Ah, that's my wonky one. And it's so very nearly there, which is really exciting. So I don't think, touch wood, we're going to need the full six months. So I went to get my brackets replaced and because they're coming along so well, they put on uh, the stronger wire, so the next one up, to really start to pull them all in. Um, filed my teeth down a little bit because it was coming forward and there was no room like it was really pushing against them so just filed my teeth a little bit it was a bit more uncomfortable than the first time before I had my brace on purely because my teeth are moving so they just kind of feel a little bit delicate but it didn't hurt again it was just a bit like oh please don't snap my teeth off um, but no it was absolutely fine so I've had them filed new wire put on and now my next appointment again touch wood hopefully i won't break any more um my next appointment is another six weeks hey guys so i just wanted to do a little bit of an update for you on my six month smile braces um so i haven't really done many updates um purely because there's been nothing to talk about um so i think the last time we spoke was uh when i broke off some brackets eating uh, a tough steak which was my fault and i felt really bad about it but i went to the dentist and they fixed it all and we're fine um and that was about three weeks ago 
and I have when I went in she put on the the second wire which is a little bit stronger and I've got another appointment not next week the week after and we're thinking that might actually be my last appointment there I might put the third wire in and then it will be six more weeks after that and then maybe done fingers crossed we don't know got to wait and see what uh, the dentist says when we go back next um but they've been absolutely fine i'll show you them in a minute um they're just, they're just great i genuinely can't fault them i've been really careful what i've eaten but having said that i still eat completely normally um i just avoided steak <laughs> from now on and obviously anything that's going to stain them still however i still drink like one or two cups of tea and coffee a day um i had some red wine at the weekend um and i also accidentally ate some uh, like yellowish colored noodles on my holiday which i thought was going to stain them afterwards i just completely forgot but actually uh, they're okay they're probably a little bit yellow uh, but actually I don't think they look that bad. They're actually showing up a little bit more yellow on the camera than they do in the mirror. Uh, but because they're on the, my bottom teeth, you can't really see them anyway, so it's fine. Um, but they're great. The only thing is, uh, on, ah, on this side, the white colour on the wire has started to come off a little bit. You can see. Just there. Uh... But that is literally it. <laughs> I'm trying to find something wrong with them, but I can't. They don't hurt. Um, touch wood, we haven't had any more breakages. Uh, and they're at, they're fine. They're not getting in my way at all. Um, and I'm really, really pleased with it. Hey guys, so I've just come out of the dentist. And um, what we've done, because my tooth is still, coming, is still coming forward. It only has to come forward a little bit more. As you can see, it's nearly there. So they filed a little bit more space in between the teeth so it's got room to move. But also because my main problem as well was the fact that it's a little bit higher than the rest of my teeth. So what they've done is they've reattached that bracket, they've taken it off and reattached it, and uh, just set it a little bit higher than the rest. And what that will do is because the wire needs to move back into its um, U-shaped position, it will pull the tooth down so it sits evenly with the rest of my teeth. It's just slightly higher than the others so um yeah they just literally pulled the bracket off which is a little bit uncomfortable it doesn't hurt but it just <laughs> you, there's always that little part of you in your head that's going please don't pull my teeth out <laughs> obviously they're not going to but it just makes you feel that way um so yeah they just pulled the bracket off and then reattached it back on um and it was really easy they do feel a little bit tighter than they um than they did before i came in but they don't hurt at all no problems so yeah so it'll be interesting to see that will moving um my next appointment is in four weeks time instead of six i'm going to see how it's getting on and then we might move to the final wire which is really strong or we might not have to it might just move by itself so yeah getting to the end of the treatment and it's really exciting and it's also fascinating but um yeah brilliant even my dentist has got them on now as well <laughs> so we're both brace faces <laughs> so i've just had my appointment and all we've done is put the uh, wire underneath that bracket just to lift that tooth up a little bit there as you can see so that wire will want to straighten itself and it will um pull the tooth up just a little bit so then it is level with the rest and i am booked in for literally next week next wednesday because the last time i came i was trying to pull one tooth down and it happened overnight like it happened literally like five hours later it was done so um there's no point waiting for like two three weeks because the, the chances are by tomorrow this will have already moved um so next week i'm coming in to have my impressions so um we can get my retainer wire sent through from new york from six months smiles in america and then uh it will be a couple of weeks for that to happen and when that comes in they're off i can't believe it it's amazing the transformation is just incredible and uh yeah i'm so happy so they've changed my donuts for me so they look nice and white again perfect because i'm going to an award ceremony for my blog on thursday <laughs> so there'll be lots of pictures being taken so at least they're nice and shiny and white um but yeah nearly done i can't but i can't go for it i'm so happy hey guys today is the day i am getting my braces off it's been four months and i'm so so excited this is what they look like now all finished they're in pretty good condition um but I am excited to get them off, let's go! Oh my goodness guys, my 
my braces are off and look how amazing my teeth look i can't believe it <sighs> four months and they are completely fixed so i have a little um wire on the back of my teeth let me show you yeah uh, which feels massive <laughs> but it's like teeny tiny so i've just got to get used to having that in there and um, but that will just make sure that they just don't move uh, and then they're sending me a little clear retainer that i wear at night time and yeah we're all done i can't believe how easy and how quick it's been they haven't caused me any issues at all apart from a couple of breakages it's just, it's just, i can't believe it i'm so happy with them <gasps> I have a perfect smile again and I'm just really happy. I'm gonna go for um, a Costa now and try and book in for a curry later with me and Joe. <laughs>